You know what happened to me just before? I, um, I got locked out of my house. I couldn't get into my house. And what had happened? The Alexa units had gone down. Alexa is a solution. I mean, sorry if I'm triggering words, uh, you know, use that word and it triggers stuff in your house. It's run by Amazon and it's running on a service called AWS. And AWS is what's called a, uh, Amazon Web Services. And essentially the internet runs on the cloud. A lot of the internet just runs on services, not like the cloud that is like, it's not actually like where you fly through on a plane. The cloud is actually physical tech, physical hardware, sitting in servers, in data centers, in network providers all around the world. And the internet runs on primarily three big services, right? AWS is one of them. Microsoft is another one, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud. And there's others out there. But what just happened is there's a massive global outage to a lot of AWS services. And as a result of that, all of the Amazon services that control all of your Alexa devices, your Echoes, uh, in my case, my doors, I've got ring cameras, I've got all this other sort of stuff, all of it stopped working. And the doors wouldn't open. I couldn't play music in my house. I couldn't check the temperature. I couldn't close my garage door. It's quite problematic when you rely so heavily on a service such as Amazon that you would expect that they would actually have multiple levels of uptime, multiple services operational so that things like this can't happen. Think about the impact that this is going to potentially going to have, right? In my case, it wasn't a big deal. I just couldn't open up my doors. I couldn't unlock my doors. And I mean, look, I made the mistake, mistake of going digital doors. So my door locks, I change them, I remove the key locks and I put in digital ones because I'm a techie. You know, I work in technology and I love that sort of thing. So I thought to myself, self, go all digital. What could go wrong? This can go wrong. When this happens, everything goes pear-shaped. Like it's pretty full on, especially when you are, we're moving so much more into a digital world where more and more people at homes more and more companies are putting more and more tech, making things digital, right? There's no, there's like, there's not many people that are running analog things anymore. Everything is now digital. And here we are right now. Imagine in the next two, three, four, five years when the world, everything in your home is going to be AI driven, is going to be driven by IoT devices, Internet of Things devices, where all you got, all, all these smart tech, smart hardware in your house, in office spaces, in customer sites, everywhere that is so reliant on these services to be up and running. What's going to happen? It's, it's actually make, making me think like, is it the best thing for me to actually have my, my home set up so digitally uh, connected where all of my tech, all of my things are all reliant on these big players, the big few plays that sort of control everything. They have like what's called a monopoly where you got to go to either, you know, you, you, you're going to buy smart light bulbs. You're going to buy smart door locks. Well, look, you may go buy yourself this particular brand or this particular brand and all the brands look slightly different or all the smart lights that you buy are all slightly different. But then behind the scenes, they're all potentially running like they have to communicate to a central services uh, service of some sort. And in this case, a lot of these services, we're talking to Amazon. We're talking to AWS. Uh, and hey, I couldn't talk to my Amazon Alexa device and say, hey, do this, do that. Just didn't respond. Like, are we shooting ourselves in the foot by going so full on in tech? And trust me, this is me who loves tech. I, I, that's my career. That's essentially what I do for work. Um, and if I can't rely on this, it's like, man, maybe I should go, you know, 10, 15 years ago and go a little bit more analog potentially start removing some of my digital tech because man, if I want to keep going down this route and I'm having more and more and more tech that is digitally connected because I love my smart home. I love my home labs. I love all this sort of stuff in a workplace. I'm setting up all this cool, smart tech. That's all on the cloud. The cloud goes down, going to be in trouble. What do you think? Let us know down below in the comments. Did this affect you? Uh, is your Amazon device working? Yes or no? Let us know down below in the comments. Subscribe. We talk about lots of things on the tech topic. We'll see you on the next video.